What is going on everybody? This is Mike with Terrible Gaming and today we are checking out the new Heroes of the Storm uh, character that's on the PTR right now, uh, Malthiel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think so. Um, yeah, this is a this character looks really, really cool. I think I'm going to be very interested in this character. Um, so let's go check out a couple things real quick. So we go to the collection here. Um, let's see. So his abilities are Soul Rip. Um, extract the souls of nearby enemies affected by Reaper's Mark, which I believe is, yeah, that's his trait. So his basic attacks uh, afflict non-structure targets um, with the Reaper's Mark for four seconds. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, marked enemies are revealed, which is really nice, uh, and take damage equal to 2.5% of their maximum health every one second. That seems incredibly powerful. And then this deals more damage to them, um, and it heals Malthiel. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Wraith Strike, instantly teleport to an enemy affected by uh, Reaper's Mark, and it deals damage. So once again, more Reaper's Mark stuff. Uh, it looks like everything is Reaper's Mark. Um, after 0.25 seconds on Death Shroud here, um, unleash a wave of Dark Mist that applies Reaper's Mark to enemies that hits it. Uh, so that's the, that's pretty cool. Uh, that, that'll be really nice so you don't have to actually have to hit those uh, those basic attacks. You can just throw that in. And then uh, his uh, heroic abilities, Tormented Souls, gain 20 armor, unleash uh, a torrent of souls, continually applying Re Reaper's Mark uh, to enemies for 4 seconds. And then, I think this was the one that I really like. Yeah, it is. Apply Death Sentence to a hero that, uh, to an enemy hero after 2 seconds that deals damage equal to 50% of their missing health. Which is pretty crazy. So if they're at, like, you know, 3rd health, you'll kill them. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. I definitely want to try him out. So let's give him a shot. Uh, and then afterwards we'll check out his, uh, his skins and, and what have you on him. Uh, I don't have enough coins in the, or gems or whatever in the, uh, PTR because I never play in the PTR for him. Um, but I will definitely have enough once he goes live so we can do like a full video for him. Let's go ahead and set the level to 20. Um, I don't think I'm going to go through all this stuff just because there's going to be a lot of it in here. I'm just going to click on just random ones that I think are cool until I can get to at least level 10. Um, let's do increased mountain movement speed. That's pretty cool. Um, Death Shroud. I think I'm going to be using that quite a bit. Actually, Reaper's Mark Duration. That's probably better. Choose a talent. Um, Soul Rip Slows. Um... Wraith Strike deals bonus damage. That's cool. And then I definitely want to do Last Rites. Um, let's do uh, Healing. Reaper's Mark. Uh, deal increased damage. Ooh, and Last Rites heals. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Hang on. Activate to respawn. Well, that's cool. That's that's super cool. He has a respawn ability. That that works. Oh, and uh, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, that that ultimate's pretty cool. And he has melee, so he does have to get real close. And he's been marked now. There's the teleport. Well done. So yeah, and these ones have like a radius that they have to be in. So it's not like uh, Lunara where you can just kind of just hit it and wherever they are it'll, it'll hurt them. Um, Although teleporting behind them isn't isn't ideal. Well, I mean it probably is in, in some situations, but right now it's not it's not my ideal situation. Yeah, this character is really cool. I, I like the way he looks too, because he looks pretty uh pretty scary as you're flying through the battlefield. Yep, and then he's dead once again. Uh, does it actually... Oh, yeah, it does actually mark the uh, the minions, so that's cool. Okay, so let's try... 
Let's do it with him, with him a little bit more health. Actually, that's still gonna kill him. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, can we just turn off this uh, having an allied hero? Yeah, we can. There we go. So then we have a marked teleport. Do all that stuff. He's pretty tanky too. He has quite a bit of health. Yeah, and he takes in this his soul rep does damage to all the minions too that were hit. That was rather entertaining. Which is pretty cool. And he does a he does a decent chunk of damage. I mean we are at 21, so that that probably helps, but But yeah, and he, he seems to be Seems to be working pretty good. Let's see how much damage that this uh, ultimate actually does. Yeah, see, so it does it does decent chunks. And what's nice is you don't have to. It's not a skill shot or anything. You just click on them, and it just kind of goes. Which, if you've seen me play, you probably know that it's probably better to uh, not have a skill shot. Yeah, he's he's pretty powerful. Uh, I'm I'm interested to see on uh, how he actually operates in, uh, in like regular combat. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's let's try the resurrection thing real quick. I'm just gonna bring myself over here. Stop attacking. Yes, kill me. Nope, doesn't want to anymore. And I don't want to end up. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That's that is incredibly that is ridiculous. Um, that's gonna be you know kind of a game changer late game because you have those long uh, death timers. You won't have that anymore. All right, I'm just gonna have a little bit more fun with these minions here, and then we'll. There we go. All right, so I think that's I think that's pretty good for uh, at least a demonstration of what this guy's like. Um, yeah, he's super fun. Uh, I'm really interested to check out uh, him regular gameplay. Uh, let's go ahead and quit out of here. Oh, and also you got this cool loading screen too, which is really cool. Um, and then let's go check out his skins. So it doesn't look like... Okay, he has two different skins, so not a ton of stuff. But then against PTR, so not surprising. Uh, some cool stuff. I like that white. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and the, the like, uh, bl like crimson red is pretty cool. Uh, the green, I want to like the green, but I, I just don't. I don't know. I don't really care for the green skins in this game. Um, so that, that's that looks pretty nice. It's, I mean, I don't know why you would need that many belts. Um, I guess he really wants to make sure his pants stay on. Oh, that blue is nice. Now this looks like a uh, Ariel kind of. Yeah, not too bad. I that's some cool stuff. I, I'm really impressed by that level 20. The uh, yeah, but you inc okay, so you increase uh, his next respawn by 25%. So I mean, yeah, that does kind of suck, but at the same time, you can respawn immediately. And I and I'm assuming that once you get past that three minutes or whatever it is that you uh yeah the three minutes of cooldown, I'm assuming you can just use it again and probably bypass that whole thing. But then again. That's a level 20 ability. If you're going three minutes past level 20, that's kind of a crazy game. Um, let's let's open this loot box while I'm in here. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the Malthiel. Is that how I decided we're pronouncing it? And I don't think he's available in here. No, he's the one person that's not available. Um, but yeah, everybody else is available in the PTR, but just not him. 
Um, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Be on the lookout for more uh, gameplay videos with Malthiel. Um And uh, until next time, I've been Michael Terrible Gaming. And you have yourself a terrible day. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, click right here for our latest upload or click right here for another episode. And click our channel icon in the middle to subscribe.